vaccine guidelines. Aubrey. Well, there were so many watch parties all across the city. One of them was right here at the Broadside Outdoor Theater. There were quite a few people, but as you can see right now, a lot of people have obviously left. It's wrapped up for the day. I want to show you some video from not too long ago. We were here when crowds were joining uh, during this event that was held right here at the Broadside Theater. So because of the pandemic, the indoor theater, it has had to temporarily close, but it found some new purpose today. They opened this new outdoor venue to stay afloat. People were spaced out and masked up a large screen. It was also brought in so people could see the inauguration. Courtyard Brewery also had an event. That's where people were spread out too. Now, people that I spoke with say today it was historic and they were happy to experience it. It's very um, exciting. You know, it's, it's, you know, um, it's very exciting. It's, it's, like a, um, it's like a stress release, you know, like, you know, like, like through all like the craziness that we've been through. I want us to see us move forward. This is a time where we have an opportunity to change our future and be remembered in history as those that did it. Now, the Broad Theater is expected to reopen back in May and coming up on WDSU News at five o'clock. I spoke with the owner and the major challenges that he has faced through this pandemic. I'll have that interview coming up on WDSU News at five reporting live in New Orleans. I'm Aubrey Killian.